Hi guys, Mike LeBone here. How are you all doing today? Right, today's lesson on the old three-string cigar box guitar is a good old classic. It's called The Hunter. It's been done by so many people in the past. It's a good old chunky blues one. I do the sort of the free version. Um, this is not free. This is obviously free to you guys. But I mean free is the band. I do their sort of version, um, which is a little bit more stompy. Um, it's nice to have a little bit, I haven't got too much distortion on it because obviously I'm trying to show you guys how to play it. Um, so I'm going through my Vox Mini 5, I've got it on the 70s channel with a little bit of, uh, little bit of uh, compressor, just a little bit of sustain. But it's nice to have a little bit more um, fuzzle, distortion on it to give it that sound. Um, it's a standard sort of blues one really, um, it's, it's in A, so it's A, D, E, but there's a little riff in it. Um, in two places which I'll show you and I'll come to a close up and show you. Um, so I'll run for it and then you can see how it goes and it starts in the A. They go, me the hunter, cause that's my name, pretty little girls like you. That's sort of basically how it goes. So you see, it's a nice chunky one. Um, there's, as I say, there's been various versions of it. I've seen slow versions, I've seen fast versions. I like to do this version. It's a bit more up-tempo, a bit more chunky. So, um, okay, let's get to it. So as I say, it's a three-chorder, apart from a little riff. The chords you need are A, D and E. So the first chord is A, which is second fret. It's one finger, one don't forget, so it's even better. Um, it's the second fret all strings, which is the A. And then the D is the 7th fret, all strings, and the E is the ninth fret, all strings. And the little riff is on the C. So what you're doing is, um, you're, you're, so you're... Um, it, it's, it's a hard one to explain, but what you're doing is you're sort of hitting the C and then this the middle on the on the seventh fret and take your finger off. So you're sort of, um, yeah, you're hitting the, so it's not really a C chord, you're, you're hitting the fifth fret with the bottom two, and then you're hammering your finger on this seventh in the middle string. And you're hammering back to it. just hitting the middle so it's the second string fifth fret and you're hammering on the middle string on the seventh fret so um, I sort of strum it the whole strings um, 
Um, so yeah, it's one of those ones you sort of get your head round. It's um, a little bit complicated. It's not complicated, it's easy, but it's trying to get your head round it. Um, and, and you've got the same thing on the when you play the D. So you the D is... And you drop down again to the C position. But you, you're now going on the bottom string. So you're just doing... going on the bottom string fifth to the seventh but I sort of like strum it you know I strum the two and then just top the bottom Yeah, so it's sort of a, a hammer-ons on that. And then, of course, you just go to your, your E, which is down, and then drop down to... It's just sort of that hammering on. But I say, I, I hit the two string, and same on the D. So you're hitting the bottom string. So it's the same thing, but you're just on two different strings. Um, I'll come to a close to show you that, because it's quite complicated to explain it. You need to see it, so I'll come up and show you. So yeah, here we are. So um, so as I say, it's on the A, so it's the second fret, all strings. And then you slide this down, and you're on, I play it on these two strings, and hit this string here. So you're on the fifth fret, bottom two, and you're hammering on to the... And then when you do it on the D, you're coming down to the D, which is the seventh fret. But instead of hammering onto that one, you're going to the bottom string. So you do the same thing. So it's it's those two strings there. And then obviously on the bottom on the, from the E's. And the E's. So you're hitting the bottom string on that one. So, yeah, it's just a matter of getting used to doing this bit. So it might be just practice this a little bit. So just 
just hitting the twos. There's a little bit of hand muting going on. It's the, the hand, but I'm also muting up here. So what I'm doing is when I'm pressing on it, I'm releasing my fingers to release the pressure. Gives you that bump. So you sort of do it. Off, off and on. So you can see I'm sort of releasing my, if you can see that. So I'm pressing down and just releasing, but not taking my fingers off the strings, just so it gives it a muting. Press on, press off, press, on, press off. So yeah, and it's a so it's a great little song. It's just a great little song. Just get your head around this little bit here. Once you get, once you perfect that, you're away. You're away with it. Then, okay, let me sit back down again. So yes, yeah, so it's a great little song. It's just getting your head around this bit here. So it might be worth just practicing that. It's, it's, it's all about practice. Practice makes perfect. Practice makes perfect. So that's the Hunter. Um, as I say, a little bit difficult, but it's nice. It's all one finger stuff. There's no chord stuff. You know, even even if you you know, you just it's only got to use either your pinky or one of these other fingers. to doing it um and so I do that muting so it gives you that stomping sound um it's one of those ones you've got to practice and work you know work with your fingers get your fingers working um so yeah crack on with it it's the hunter um great little song don't forget put a little bit more distortion on to give it a little bit more gaunch um great song great song just absolute great song I love playing it um so that's it for me don't forget to check out um my other stuff on Facebook, uh, sorry, on uh, YouTube. Um, and don't forget to press the button to subscribe. And I will see you all again soon with some more choices. There's loads more coming up. Don't forget, if you want the chord sheets, for those that haven't got the chord sheets, go to the link below or email me and I'll email the chord sheets over to you. So, okay, see you again soon. Mark the bone. Bye for now.